Hi, I'm Alois Rosero from Pin Skills. Today, we're going to show you the pen hold grip. To use the pen hold grip, you have your thumb and your pointer finger encircling the handle. On the other side of your bat, you can have your three fingers flat or curved, whatever your preference is. You'll notice that Matt uses the Chinese style pen hold bat. With the Chinese style pen hold bat, it's very similar to a shake hand bat, except the handle is a little bit shorter. The advantages of the pen hold grip are that you can use your wrist a lot better because you're using your wrist in this motion. Whereas with the shake hand grip, you're using your wrist in this motion, which is a smaller action. The pen holders can get a little bit more spin with their serves. Another advantage of the pen hold grip is that you don't have a crossover point in the middle. On the forehand side, you're playing like that, and as the ball gets to the middle, you don't need to change the side that you're using. So that eliminates the problem of the crossover point. So if Matt uses the shake hand grip, you'll notice that when it gets to the middle area, he needs to change between the forehand side and the backhand side of his bat. With the penhole grip, this is eliminated. What are the disadvantages of the penhole grip? Firstly, previously the backhand used to be a problem with the penhole grip because penholders always used the same side to hit the ball. However, now we can use the reverse backhand. We're going to show you some of those techniques today. Although there are differences between the pen hold and the shake hand grip, you're going to find that there are a lot of similarities as well, especially when we're looking at the forehand techniques. Today we have Matt Lowe to show us the pinhole technique. You'll see that Matt's forehand starts very similar to the shake hand technique. He starts with his bat down beside him at table height and flat. He follows through up and forward towards his head. To get more topspin he starts a little bit lower just below table height and finishes up at head height. From side on, you'll get a better view of where he starts and finishes his bat. The forehand, very similar to the shake hand. Backhand technique with the pen hold is where the differences lie. With the block, you come straight forward. With the backhand counter hit, you tend to start a little bit lower and come up a little bit. But with the grip, you'll notice that it's difficult to extend the wrist. The backhand counter hit becomes more like a punch technique.
from side on you can see the bat punching forward. The important part of the technique for the backhand topspin is to make sure that you have your grip correct. You'll notice here that Matt's bat isn't quite in the right position. If he tried to hit the backhand topspin with this grip, the ball would go off to the side. To get the correct grip technique, you need to show the full face of the bat to the ball. This will eliminate a lot of the errors and get the ball to go straight with a backhand topspin. Here you can see Matt's bat facing directly towards the ball. From the back you'll see that the red side of Matt's bat is always facing towards the back. You never see the black side. You'll notice that Matt's bat starts nice and low and finishes high and it's coming through on the one plane so the angle of the bat doesn't change at all. From the side you'll notice that Matt's bat starts below the level of the table and finishes above head height. You'll notice that the angle of the blade for the pin hold is exactly the same as when you're using the shake hand grip. So for the backhand push and the forehand push you're sliding underneath the ball, getting your bat to slide underneath the ball to impart a little bit of backspin. Notice also how Matt's right foot is moving in and out after each push. This gets him ready in case the ball comes long so that he can topspin. With each push he moves his right foot in. The Korean or Japanese backhand technique is to use the same side of your bat but starting with your bat out very very wide. You'll notice that with the Japanese or Korean backhand technique the contact is quite flat. The contact point is way outside the line of your body. Let's have a look at some combinations using the pen hold grip. This first combination is fairly simple because you're using the same side of the bat for the forehand push and the forehand topspin. This is very similar to the shake hand technique. This combination is a little bit more difficult. So we're doing a backhand push, then the backhand reverse topspin, and then a backhand block. Changing the side you're using each time. This is something the pen holder needs to practice. Now Matt's doing a variation of combinations. So he's starting with a backhand push and a backhand reverse topspin. The third ball can be anywhere, so he needs to adjust. This gets the pen holder used to using the different sides of your bat. Because the pen 
holder is using the same side of his bat for the third ball, it's quite simple. So the third ball is either a backhand punch or a forehand using the red side. You'll notice particularly here from the side, the third ball punch goes forward and flat.